digging into with EPA a lot of the same content. Thank you, Ed. Uh, as I said earlier this evening, the Hudson River is critically important, not only to the town of Saratoga, but all of the municipalities and residents of the area. I estimate approximately a third of the population of Saratoga County lives in towns that border the Hudson River. And if we go from Waterford to Half Moon City, Mechanicville, Town of Stillwater, Town of Saratoga, Village of Skylargo, Town of Northumberland, Town of Moreau, that's a lot of us. It's important to us economically, it's important to us recreational. We want the river back, we want to be able to use it the way we used to use it, we want it to be safe. We know you folks have done a great amount of work. I respect you and thank you for that. There's a, a popular song out there. It's entitled, It Ain't Over Yet. And it's, it's a catchy little song here. Uh, the, the words have nothing to do with dredging or rivers or PCBs or, or anything of that nature. But the title, It Ain't Over Yet. I think you know, we know, there are still some spots in the river that perhaps were overlooked that we need to take another close look at. We know that from a barge traffic perspective, there are areas within the river uh, that the depth could be made a little deeper for more commercial barge traffic here. And so that uh, from an economic perspective, we could regain some of the benefits of, of canal traffic in the river, if you will. In my former life, I used to be a school teacher for 29 years. I was a principal for eight years. And one of the key things that was important in those positions was communication. And it is critically important. And I want to just emphasize the need for and the value to both ends of the communication spectrum. Communication is giving out information, it's receiving information. And that's critically important. You've been doing a good job. There's probably room for a little bit more. I assume a little bit later on, uh, Mayor of the Village of Schuylerville will speak. We are particularly concerned with the old Champlain Canal in Schuylerville. We're concerned with the sedimentation in there, the need for that sediment to be cleaned, the impact on kids that play in recreational fields right adjacent to it. A lot of unanswered questions. We have uh, hundreds of acres of floodplain, not only in the town of Saratoga, but up and down the river, both sides of the river. And we want to make sure that that all gets clean and is usable uh, land for all of our residents now and in the future. So that's my, my basic comment here. It ain't over yet. Let's keep, keep going with the work here. Let's get the job done. Let's get it done right. And that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I represent in the assembly uh, the communities in Saratoga, many of the communities in Saratoga County and Washington County that border the Hudson. Uh, and throughout these communities, we have grave concerns about the PCVs that remain in the river. Um, there still are hot spots up near Fort Edward. Uh, there are hot spots that get down towards uh, Half Moon and Waterford. Uh, and these are troubling to us. Uh, they are impacting our, uh, they're impacting property values, they're impacting small businesses, they're impacting uh, the ability to attract additional tourism on the river. Uh, and so it is, it is not just a health concern, but it is an economic development concern for uh, many of our communities. I bring, uh, bring to you today a letter. Uh, it is a, a, a letter signed by more than 40 legislators. This is a continuing, this is another in a continuing series of letters that we have written to DEC and to EPA um, calling on you to uh, continue the work. And, and you all have done great work so far, but we need you to continue um, at, to require GE to get the river cleaned up. A village on the Hudson River, um, just south of Fort Edward. Um, and I've heard a lot about, and I want to thank everyone for coming, but uh, tonight I've heard a lot about fish. Um, I want to show you a picture from what is considered my backyard. Um, this is the original Champagne Canal. Um, we sit in the floodplains of, uh, of the Hudson, and our concerns is over the year we've had silt build up in our Champagne Canal. And uh, June 1st, just recently, 
um, on a basic thunderstorm. You saw this, or sorry, July 1st, I'm sorry, thank you. July 1st, we saw the banks of the old original Champagne Canal overflow into what's here's picture. Our baseball fields, our recreational baseball fields, where all of our kids play softball, baseball, football. Back in here where you can't see behind the trees is our water aquifer. This is where we get our water from, our drinking water. Um, we have some questions, and uh, as newly elected, I've had some uh, citizens come up and ask a number of questions that they would like to have voiced here. So um, their questions here are, is that um, they're very concerned about the current testing of the uh, floodplains. Um, the PCBs, if they're discovered um, in the soil, they would like to know how long it will take to make a decision on how the remedy will be for cleaning them up and if um, G is going to agree to clean that up as part of the uh, decision. Um, one of our particular concerns, as I stated, is the Champlain Canal, which bisects the village of Scottsdale. Um, it has silted over, over the years and uh, it may have contaminants beyond PCBs. We are wondering why the EPA, EPA, GE, and the State Canal Corp can't figure out how to test, or at least recently have not been able to figure out how to test the sediments for any contaminants. Um, they've requested this for the last year at the CAG meetings, and although they have been assured it will be considered, there is no action to date being taken, and the sediment testing is occurring this season. The silting has uh, made the original canal dangerous and overflows happened in July 1st, when I said, um, Monday, we had another thunderstorm and we were half an inch away from flooding again. Um, <clears throat> the original canal currently sits adjacent to a uh, million dollar project, the Gateway Visitor Center, under construction um, by the Hudson Music River Partnership. And at this time, the canal is stagnant and it stinks and it's dangerous. Um, we can't do anything as a village. Our culverts are silted over and there's no way for the drainage of the canal to go through. So these kind of uh, events, we're going to see more and more because as a village, I can't move the sediments. I can't unclog those culverts. So until the old Champlain Canal is tested, we are looking at these potentials. And what you can't see here behind the tree line is the Hudson River. So when Irene came in and those baseball fields were flooded, six feet full of water, and then you have the canal, you're, we're sitting in a, a storm of water coming from both sides. So I would urge um, the EPA and the work that they've done, which is great, and we're very appreciative about it, just to do more with the floodplains and with the original Champlain Canal. Um, we need to ensure that our kids are not being exposed to these cancer-causing chemicals every time the old Champlain Canal overflows into the recreational fields and into our possible water aquifer. Eight months. The analysis and the project data for the Hudson River dredging project in that report does not support the claim that the remedy will eventually achieve the goal of the cleanup for the Superfund project. Your claim is based on wishful thinking and a conflicted analysis that's only substantiated by a reliance on a 20-year-old model that you refuse to rerun despite multiple recommendations from many well-respected experts, including your own peer review panel, which you mentioned in your slides earlier. In this report, you repeatedly point out that there was only one year of uncorrupted data to even look at that you can rely on. And you were choosing to ignore the interim targets that are laid out in the cleanup agreements. And I'd like to say thank you on behalf of Cindy Cuts and to New York State for mentioning these tonight because this is something that gets looked, overlooked a lot, especially when you're doing your presentations. The interim targets are the deal that you made with GE and you made this deal with the people of New York. The rapid reduction of PCBs that Kevin Farrar mentioned earlier in the sediment with the specific time frames was the purpose, the kickstart for the remediation. It is not right that you continue to ignore those timelines and those targets. You are supposed to be using them to measure success, yet you did it anyway. You grossly underestimate the impacts that local PCB contamination in sediment has on water and fish, and you continue to underestimate the benefits of additional removal of this pollution from the river bottom. This cleanup is too important and the communities along the Hudson need to have confidence in an EPA that is committed to its mission of protecting human health and the environment. Stop claiming success. I know you said you're not doing that, but I even have a headline from two years ago where you 
said success. You dismantled the water facility before this project, this process even started, Gary. Until the cleanup has begun to truly reverse the decades of harm in communities like Saratoga and communities down below Troy Dam can count on regaining the economic benefits that a healthy river should be providing.